Redmed here, we're back for the third race of the Formula One season. The Formula One season went down under to Australia. Over 400,000 people attended this race weekend. At race time, track temperature was well over 30 degrees Celsius. This race is full of surprises. Max Verstappen is on pole. Racing. Real racing. Max Verstappen holds on to his pole position and goes into first place going into the first few turns. We have Carlos Sainz in second and Lando Norris in third. Max Verstappen is able to hold on to his first place for the first few laps. Carlos Sainz and his Ferrari is following close behind and it would only be a few laps, actually two laps, Carlos Sainz would be able to pass Max Verstappen for first place. Oh, the race is heating up. Carlos Sainz is in first place. Max Verstappen is trailing Carlos Sainz and we're not even five laps into the race. Was the Ferrari that fast today? We would soon find out. I have a bad feeling about this. It had everybody wondering, did Max blow his power unit? No diddy. He, Max replaced his power unit, no diddy, before the beginning of the race in Australia. So what actually happened is his rear right brake actually caught fire. How Max explained it, his brakes were on from lap one. So from lap one to lap three, his brakes were on the entire time. I did not expect that. Max was pissed. The last time Max didn't finish a race was Australia in 2022. So he's been finishing races for a long time. Buttis came to pit after this. Also Leclerc and Piastri came to pit around lap 14 and 15. And then we had Carlos Sainz also pitting on lap 16. We had plenty of laps of green flag racing until lap 17 when Lewis Hamilton had to pull over. He had an engine failure. This brought out a virtual safety car. Fernando Alonso came into the pits under the virtual safety car. Also Esteban Ocon. Esteban Ocon had a problem with his car, but they were able to rectify it and get him back out. There. But what won't cause you problems is subscribing to our channel. So why don't you subscribe Subscribe so we can bring you more racing videos about the racing world and people in it. Top 5 midpoint of the race were Carlos Sainz, Charles Leclerc, Lando Norris, Oscar Piastri and Sergio Perez. We got in more pit stops, lap 36 Sergio Perez pits and lap 41 Lando Norris and Carlos Sainz also pit. Carlos Sainz has built a 5 second lead over Leclerc late in the race. George Russell is battling Fernando Alonso for 6th place. On the last lap, George Russell crashes. They blame it on Fernando Alonso saying that he slowed down which caused George Russell to crash. Personally, I don't think it should have been a penalty. The stewards thought he should be penalized and he was. Now George Russell was able to walk away. His car did end up on its side, but he's okay. In the end, Carlos Sainz is able to come home with a victory over Charles Leclerc and to take the win of the Australian Grand Prix. Now Ferrari have a dilemma. Did they fire the wrong driver? Carlos Sainz, for the first three races of the year, has been doing a better performance job in the Ferrari than Charles Leclerc. With Lewis Hamilton moving to Ferrari in 2025, Carlos Sainz is the driver they let go. I'm not sure if this was a good decision right now. We love Charles Leclerc on the channel, but he's not driving as well as Carlos Sainz, and Carlos Sainz is the one without a job. You know we're surprised still has a job in Formula One? Danny Ricardo. He finished 12th. Other race notes, Sergio Perez came 5th in his Red Bull, Fernando Alonso came 6th, Lance Stroll came 7th, and then the passes, Hulkenberg came 9th, Kevin Magnussen came 10th. If I was going to rate this race, I would give this race an 8 out of 10. After Max Verstappen blew the race wide open, no ditty, Carlos Sainz took over, and the Ferraris, they're showing this year, their performance, they've definitely improved from last year. Congrats to them. Also, we're going to have more videos on the channel. We have the MotoGP race from Portugal. That had a surprising ending. We're going to post a review on that. Also, more racing videos on the channel. We have a video coming next week of a Formula One champion who died before he could receive his trophy. More videos to come on the channel. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. Red Bet, signing off.